What's up guys, Shane your Figure 3D Printing and I have some more filament from filaments.ca and today I have their Silk Pearl Gold PLA. Welcome back guys. So as I said before, filaments.ca sent me a huge box of filament, about seven different kinds for me to test out. Today I'm checking out, this is their Silk Pearl Gold PLA. It's 1.75 millimeters, it's a kilogram, and the box is the same as all their filament comes in. So you know, it has all the info on it, and it also is in French because it's from Canada. The only thing different on here is the little sticker here on the side to let you know what is in it. It says it's Silk Pearl Gold PLA, a kilogram. Nozzle is 190 to 230, print bed 60 to 80, and it gives you the batch number, and it's got a little QC pass stamp on there. Going inside, here we have their spool. It's clear and that's the color. This is pearly gold, little, I was hoping kind of more like a, I guess because it's pearl, it's a little less, I was hoping for more like gold, gold color. But I do really like this about their spools. I'm a little ahead of myself here, but either way, they have the measurements on here for a rough guesstimate of how much filament you have left on there, which is awesome. And it's completely clear. There's no guessing on how much filament is left on there. So that's great. Now, they do not use Ziploc bags. That is because when you order from them, they send you a Ziploc bag. Now, I don't know if, I'm guessing this is cheaper to buy Ziploc bags with a desk and pack and include it in your shipment rather than packaging this in you know, a Ziploc bag, I'm not sure, but when you order from them, every time that I've ordered from them, I've gotten one bag per roll, no matter how much is ordered or brought from them. So I got about seven or eight rolls from them. I got seven or eight bags to go with it. Let's get into it. There's the big desk and pack in there. Another thing they do is they put a little bit of saran wrap on the spool. Kind of an interesting thing. I find it rather annoying. I don't know why they do it. Maybe to keep the rolls clean. Maybe it's after they're extruded and put onto the roll, it's a little while before they actually make it into a, you know, uh, the vacuum bag maybe. It keeps it clean. I don't know, it does keep it clean. So either way, I'll let them have it. Uh, it's a hefty spool. Again, it's clear. It is a molded spool. So there's uh, ejection molded. So there's no seams, no glue. The wind is pretty good. Can't complain with that. It's, it's nice and it's tight. Uh, again, looking from the sides, you can see how good the wind is. You know, it's probably a good, you know, seven, or at least eight, eight and a half, almost nine out of ten on the the wind there. No real odor to it, which is good. So here on the side, they have an exact same sticker that is on the box, is right here on the side. And as I showed before, here's the measurements here, and they have little windows as well. So it is really nice to see that because again, there's no guessing. Their PLA has worked for me in the past before. I actually have some PLA rolls they sent me as a uh, non-review, so I've already reviewed their PLA and it works out really well. So I'm hoping you get the exact same results out of this. So I'll be back in just a few with some results. All right, so there's a funny story to go along with this. And so, you know, I used almost the entire roll. I have maybe 15, 20 meters left on this roll. Now, what I had fully intended was making a quick little um, napkin holder for the kitchen because I'm in a new house and we don't have many things yet and our, our things aren't here and I have 3D printers. I've been printing useful things around the house like crazy. I thought a napkin holder, no problem. Couldn't find one I liked, so I designed one in Fusion 360. It only took maybe you know 45 minutes to an hour and I was able to finally figure out how to make this like uh, flower pattern in the middle you know just you know making a rotation of a random thing I drew it looked like a flower so I said hey why not let's do it I printed it a few times I was getting crazy layer shifts on the GTEC A10 and it was one major shift and it was be pretty pretty printing then whoop it would go way over there as you can see in this model it was just insane I couldn't figure out what was wrong so I printed it again same problem Okay, maybe it's a G-code problem. So I re-sliced it, threw it on the printer again, and it started doing it again. It's like, man. So I finally threw it into 3D Builder. There's a problem. I couldn't see it, but there was a problem with the model. Even though I designed everything, manifold and all that jazz, started printing it, and then I had two more failures 
on the, well, I had a power failure. This one was a power failure on the TiVo Tornado. And then this was a failure of this one flower piece in here did not attach at all and it failed and it caused the print to start failing. So I just stopped it there. So eventually I will get this thing to print. I will probably add supports in just to make my life a little bit easier and less of a headache. But I did use like half the roll on this. I can say this, it printed extremely consistently across all of these. I did not see any under extrusions. It actually adhered very well in comparison to other silk-like filaments. There are some silk-like filaments that have print very, very well, and some that just have a little bit of problem with overhangs and things like that. This printed miraculously over a lot of the overhangs and just weirdness that was going on with this model. So we're just gonna call that, and we're gonna focus here on the good, not on the bad. And let's take a look at these models. So we're gonna look at my coin first, which looks absolutely flawless. This was printed on the A10 of all things, and it just has a great bottom layer on it. The over the supports behaved very well. The roundness on all of the cogs came out super well. Also, for a silk filament, you know, this gold like has the sheen to it. It just looks really, really good. It behaved very well, so I can't really complain any of that. Again, no under extrusions anywhere noted, and I pretty much have my extrusion multiplier maybe like 0.1 too low, or not 0 0.1, 0 0.01 or 0.02 too low. Uh, this is a little bit under extruded, but I did solve that after doing this one. I also wanted to print it out. I printed this before. This is just a very simple phone holder, and you can hold a phone multiple different ways. You can hold it up here. Let's see, grab my phone at. Where'd it go? I don't know where my phone went. Oh, here's one. So you can hold your phone up top like so. Uh, with a smaller phone, it will clip inside of there. And then another way to do it is holding it back like that. So you actually give three different viewing angles with this holder, which is very cool. I highly recommend this to anyone, but uh, my wife really likes it. So I figured, well, I'll give her a gold one since we got rid of the last ones when we moved. And so now we have a new one. Uh, I did talk to some people during, whenever I did one of the vlogs on the new wire shelves that I have in here, and I was looking for some type of spool holder. So personally, the thing of I did find this one that works out pretty well. It actually can hold two different spools at the same time. So only one takes up half of it. So it's actually very strong. It clips onto it, and then you can shift it over a little bit. And it kind of locks it in there, which, Again, it behaves very well. I have a few of them printed already on the shelves, and this is just another one to add. Probably in every new filament I get for the next little while, uh, obviously as long as it's not flexible, I'm going to also print one of these in it just because I need to get uh, a bunch of them made for all the different printers once they all get here. Might as well. It's a useful print, something that I can uh, attest to over time of how well it works, but it's a very sturdy model, and I really like it. It's not the like the best model I've ever had for something like this. I do like the one that I designed, but this uses a lot less filament and it is also still fairly sturdy. So I might have just gone with a bunch of these, but either way, this came out really well. It prints just on its side like this. There's a little bit of pre-made support in here where this overhang is, but aside from that, very simple print and it just came out well. I did some vases here. So we'll look at the, this is a, just a regular old vase I found on Thingiverse. Uh, it's very similar to Devin at Make Anything, it's just not quite his. Uh, and again, it's just a very simple vase. Again, with the silk filaments, it blends just like a lot of the exotics do, like wood filament or carbon fiber. It really bleeds those layers together and very hard to see any layers in this at all. I mean, if you really zoom in there, you can see a little bit, but it's really nice. Bottom layer came out great. This is printed on the GTEC A10. Flawless print, no issues whatsoever with it. Uh, I really do like this one. And then I printed this great big vase. Now, Joel did a Wavy Wednesday video a few weeks ago, and it got me you know, wondering, I've never printed one of these. I really wanna try one out. So I printed this on the TiVo Tornado, and this is at 100% scale, which just fits on there. I think you could upscale it maybe a little bit. But my only problem ended up happening is because I don't have all of my tools, when I was trying to get this off the print bed, where's that? I did kind of uh, cut into it a little bit, which I was pretty sad about. It's, it was just the, the TiVo Tornado bed is so doggone tacky when it comes to putting filament on. No matter how high I leave my layer height, 
I even try to under extrude the first layer, you know, or just try and be too far from the bed just to try and make it a little bit easier to pull it off. No, it is extremely hard to pull things off that bed. Like anything will stick to that. I tell you that right now. And I did have a bit of problems trying to get this off without my full arsenal of tools. I tried using the Biltex spatula a little bit, but that actually then was doing a fair bit of the damage. But either way, on to the print. This is printed at a 0.28 millimeter layer height, which is pretty much the max you can get with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Um, and again, no under extrusions. Uh, it did take a while because it is one big wacky vase. You can see the trace goes all the way around and in and back out, in and back out. It starts very, very small and uh, you know probably more than doubles its size. But this was a very cool print. I would love to do it again with the bottom not messed up and make this like a big candy dish or something uh, at my office, something like that. I think that would be kind of cool. But either way, you know, fun print. You guys should definitely try it out. So last thing we're gonna talk about is this skull uh, right here. And there's three skulls here. And I believe it's called like three skulls something on Thingiverse. I'll put the links below for it anyways. But yeah, this, I saw someone tease this. They printed it in one of the 3D printing groups that I'm in and I saw it, I was like, that's cool looking, let me try it. So it has like seven or eight different versions in the file, the, the zip file. And I just like this one with a standard base. Uh, I did not do enough top layers because there's a lot of details down at the bottom, which really uh, needed a little bit more uh, top layers on. But I mean, it's the, you know, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, just in skulls, which is, you know, ironically funny. Um, but again, no under extrusions in here, no pimpling. I had the retractions dialed in very well. This is also printed on the TiVo Tornado. And again, it just came out as a very, very good model. So yeah, this filament prints amazingly well. No under extrusions at all, again, which I really, really like to look into. A fil most filaments print well anyways. It's mainly the quality or like the quality control on how, you know, it's diameter. How well does the company make sure that it stays within that 1.75 or the three millimeter, 2.85 millimeter, you know, diameter. How well do they do that? I can say they do that very well for this filament. Even though I did waste, you know, nearly half the roll on trying to get this stupid thing to print, it's, it, it worked well. And again, this is kind of a, you know, hashtag YouTuber problem where I do 3D printing reviews on filaments, things like that, and I get sent lots of filaments. I have filament to waste. I, not, I understand not everyone has this, issue but if you do pick up a cheaper filament that you're trying to prototype with that's definitely an option and you can knock out a lot of this for very cheap I, i've done reviews for filaments that are under like ten dollars even so they are out there again it's just a problem that i have and thankfully i do have that problem so i can try and figure out things and learn a little bit more about modeling and make this better so i want to thank filaments.ca for sending me this filament uh, they sent it to me free of charge this and a few other ones that i still have left here to review and there was no money exchange. They were sent to me just so I would do this video and let them allow me to test out their filament. So thank you to those guys. And if you guys wanna check this out, head down to the video description. There will be a link to their website. It is not a fill link, anything like that. I don't have a coupon or anything right now unless they say something, then I will update it. But if you guys do wanna check out what they have, please go down there and check it out. It's so one thing to note, it is filaments.ca. It's a Canadian company. They are located in Canada, shipping out of Canada. So if you're in the United States, there are some shipping things to be aware of, cost, there is free shipping after so much amount of buying. So just keep that all in mind when you're looking at this. If you're in Canada, this is primo A plus filament for you guys. So make sure you check it out in America. If you can justify the cost or get enough for the free shipping, things like that, then that is something for you to consider as well. So thank you for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Talk in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you guys wanna stay in tune with what's going on, make sure you become a subscriber, hit that bell icon, that way you get an email notification anytime I upload new content or do any live streams. If you wanna support me, the best thing to do is hit that Patreon link down below. You can donate a dollar more to my Patreon club and that way you get access to my Patreon only feed and you get access to the after show, which I do after all of my newer videos. If you wanna donate as a one-time deal, right down below, there'll be a buy me a coffee or Streamlabs tip, or if you wanna use my affiliate links, head down below, update your bookmarks with those, a little bit of what you buy comes back here to help me at the channel. And I appreciate that very much. So thank you for watching guys. Until next time, happy printing.